Listen, I think I said it at the beginning of the season that Batiste was most likely going to be the donkey of the season. Now you tell me, you guys, was I right or was I right? Because I know definitely I was right. Hello there, Netflix buddies. Welcome to the channel. We are still on Love is Blind season three. And today we're going to be talking about the donkey of the season, as I always call him, Batiste, Batiste, Batiste. Okay, when he walked up that aisle, okay, and was waiting for Nancy, and when they were sending each other presents, I say to my friend, I called her and I was like, Girl, I hope they don't do it. I don't, I hope they don't do it because this guy, I don't want to use the D O U C H E big word, but I think that's what Batiste is. Okay, he thinks he's all that, and he's very immature, he's a main child, in my own opinion. Do you get what I'm saying? And so I really just thought that, okay, this guy's not ready to be into something serious. He's so superficial. And was I surprised that he said no on the altar? Definitely not. I could see him doing that. And I knew that he kept on saying, oh, it's about this whole abortion thing. It's about this thing. It's about this thing. But I'm like, boy, stop. We know the real reason why you don't want this is because you think that you're too good for Nancy physically. And I'm like, guess what? Financially, Nancy is too good for you. But guess what? That's how life is. And I'm like, Batiste, I mean, I, I've never been annoyed by a character the way that Batiste annoyed me. And the fact that even up to now, he still sits upright with his whole, like, what, what do you call it? Pony thing. High pony. <laughs> bun. Main bun. I don't know. The fact that he sits there upright, acting all confident and eloquent, and he's still trying to deflect from the reason that uh, with him, it was just physical attraction, okay? I, I wish he would just come up in the open, like, shake. I never thought I would be hoping somebody would behave like shake you guys. But in this moment, I wish Batiste would just be honest enough at least to say that and not try and make it seem like it was about Nancy's decision about that whole thing and the ex-boyfriend thing. He was just looking for an exit, um, you know, chance. That's all he wanted to do. He wanted to exit and he decided to blame it on the differences that they had. And honestly speaking, I feel like it was a good thing that they didn't make it after like the altar, like they, they didn't make it like on the altar. I, I really am very glad that it happened that way because it could have been disaster, a disaster that could have happened. Now about that whole situation of him going to a dead soon after the wedding and he says it's my coping mechanism and then he started saying that, oh, you're talking about my ex, my S-E-X you know my sex life and no one was talking about that somebody like people were actually talking about the fact that you went on a date soon after a failed wedding with a girl that you claimed you love and now he's deflecting is all defensive and people just let it slide and they were directing their energy to the wrong person to call instead of directing it to batiste and honestly speaking i feel like they didn't do that justice to that whole situation but at the end of the day, I hope he finds what he's looking for and I hope the superficial standards does work for him. Because at this point, Batiste, you have worn the donkey of the day. I mean, I'm, I'm going to put a sound. I, I definitely need to put a sound because he won donkey of the season, okay, in Love is Blind. That's just my opinion. Now, thank you very much for watching and thank you very much for making it this far. Do hop into the comment section and let me know what you think about that.